This is Jeffrey Gurian for GNN. Washington, D.C. It's long been rumored that George Washington, the father of our country, wore wooden teeth. But that has recently been proven to be false. Not his teeth, just the rumor. What he did wear, though, was wooden pants, which are now on exhibit in the Smithsonian Institute. When Washington was born in 1732, his family was so poor that his father made his diapers out of bark. Stay still, George. This will only take a moment. As a young boy, he had to stand on a chair and jump into his pants, which gave him a very stiff walk and made him the brunt of jokes from his classmates, who often chased him with tools and threatened to saw off his pants. One day, George was late and was running to school when his legs accidentally rubbed together, causing a spark that almost burned down the schoolhouse. He and his family lived with that shame for many years. We lived with that shame for oh so many years. Some say it was that humiliation that spurred George years later to run for the presidency. And you know that famous story about George Washington chopping down the cherry tree? It was to get softer wood for his pants. Everyone knows that cherry wood is a lot softer than mahogany, which is what he had been wearing. Some say Washington was a heavy drinker because he could drink as much as he liked and never fall down. The wooden pants kept him up, which is where the expression came from, he drinks like he's wearing wooden pants. And that famous painting of Washington crossing the Delaware? Now you know why he was standing up in the boat. As dangerous as that is, it's almost impossible to sit down in wooden pants. It's also almost impossible to drown since his pants were so buoyant and could actually keep him afloat. One stormy night, his boat capsized, but his men were able to hold on to his pants until they were saved. Since this discovery, Washington's wooden pants now reside in the Smithsonian Institute, under a plaque labeled with the nickname given to him by his men, Old Wooden Pants. That's the news. At times during this broadcast, I've been Jeffrey Gurian, and at some point in the future, probably will be again.